Spider-Man 2 is directed by Sam Raimi and stars Tobey Maguire, James Franco, Alfred Molina, and Kirsten Dunst, as well as uh, people like J. Jonah Jameson and a bunch of other people. I actually recorded this video, for, and it was like 24 minutes, and I hated it so much. I thought I was just rambling over and over, so I just decided to redo it, even though I edited the entire thing and almost uploaded it to YouTube. This is a sequel to the first Spider-Man movie, which in the first Spider-Man movies, I thought it was a great origin, one of the best Spider-Man origin stories ever. This movie is better. The pacing is worse than the first one, but the pacing is so great, and uh, there's so many incredible action scenes, like the one in the hospital and the train sequence. Notably, the train sequence is incredible. It's one of my favorite action scenes of any comic book movie ever. There's so many cool scenes in it, especially where he's like uh, going like this and he's trying to stop the train. It's just so riveting. It had me sweating. And you feel for all these characters and it's just so good. Uh, and you just like relate to all of these characters in a way that you haven't really related to in any Spider-Man movie so far. Um, now that being said, there has only been one. So I guess that is kind of easy, but out of a lot of these Spider-Man movies, it's, in the, it's one of the most relatable. And this movie also feels like a movie and not a superhero movie because of how they treat all of these characters and what's going on in the movie. Everyone just feels so realistic. Joel's 29 minutes guarantee is a promise, man. I know to you, Parker, a promise means nothing. But to me, it's serious. That pizza delivery scene is incredible and it's so much fun. There's so many games that are based off that pizza delivery scene. I haven't played it yet, but it's supposed to be amazing. Spider-Man 2 also pounds Peter Parker to the ground. So many things uh, happening with MJ, Harry, pizzas, uh, photography, grades. Even not May because uh, Peter is to talk to her about, well, how he was sort of responsible because of something that happened in the first movie. And Peter just can't take all of that pounding on his back. So he just gives up in that sequence where he's like, I'm Spider-Man, no more is so emotional and I loved it. I know a lot of people who teared up in that scene. And you just care so much about Peter in this movie. Oh, and Alfred Molina as Otto Octavius nailed it. He is so good. In the hospital scene where he goes crazy and those things start controlling his mind and the chip goes off, that was incredible. It felt like a horror movie because of Sam Raimi and that was so good. A couple of my flaws with this movie, I think MJ is too hard on Peter for missing the play at 8 o'clock. I, like, I feel like that was a convenience I feel like that was a convenience so that some stuff happened in the movie. But something else that's not a flaw is there's people playing outside. Something else that's not a flaw is after Peter gives up, the raindrops keep falling on my head sequence is so good. That freeze frame, oh my goodness. And when he sees that crime, he just takes the biggest gigantic piece of a hot dog. Ever. I do think that it doesn't make sense how Aunt May sort of uh, never questions Peter for running off when Otto robs the bank. But the sequence after that is incredible and it made me so sweaty. I think Spider-Man 1 has more action and it's better paced, like I said. Uh, but again, this more one is more of a drama and it focuses on emotion and the characters. When Harry finds out he's Spider-Man, that was, uh, it was such a big reveal for Harry. And, you know, it's, it's sort of a, a big re a reveal for the audience. And then, uh, you know, basically what happens after that when they fight, uh, Spider-Man fights. Is Otto Octavius and then he just turns around and MJ is like just staring at him and you just like you sigh in relief and now Peter doesn't have to explain everything and the ending of the movie where MJ is just like staring at Peter's like oh shoot I'm alone it's so great I think this movie is absolutely fantastic it's one of my absolute favorite Spider-Man movies of all time and I'm gonna give Spider-Man 2 a 94 percent